Welcome to Embroidery Garden. I'm Reen Wilcoxon, and today I'm going to show you how to create a color sorted file to be able to stitch multiple snowman snowball faces in one hooping. I'll be using PE Design 11. You can use other software to do this. The steps are basically going to be the same in any software. First, you're going to have to go to embroiderygarden.com and download the crosshair alignment file. This is a small cross uh, sign that is going to be stitched directly onto the stabilizer so that you know exactly where to place your sewn together two piece fleece panels to be able to stitch the face on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've opened up the program in layout and editing and I have brought in the nine and a half by 14 inch hoop. I'm going to bring in the crosshair alignment file. And you can see over here, it is a plus sign. It comes in and it's centered in the hoop. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring in one of the faces. And the face will center in the hoop. So the crosshair is behind the face file right now. I'm going to draw a box around everything and select it and bring it up into the top left hand corner. I'm going to hit copy, then paste, and it's created another file, just like the first one, where it has the registration mark, that crosshair file behind the face, and I just moved it over a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and hit paste again, and I'm going to move that over to the right. Now, if you have a different, or if you have a machine that does not cut jump stitches, you really need to pay attention to how you're laying your faces out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste another face in. And you can see that the faces, when they stitch, they're going to be stitching from left to right. And now I've pasted the next face below that last face. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste another one. And when it stitches, I'm going to continue to paste faces in. So as it's stitching these faces, it's going to start up here at the top. It's going to stitch left to right, drop down to this face here, and stitch right to left. So when I go ahead and I paste another face, I'm going to bring it down, bottom left corner. I'm going to go ahead and get the last two faces in. I've done this before using the 9.5 by 14 inch hoop, and I was able to place nine in there comfortably. Um, it's going to depend on the size hoop you have, how many faces you can get in your hoop. You are going to have to leave room um, in between faces in the columns and the rows. Okay, so now if we look at our file that we've created, you're going to see down here at the bottom, we have a lot of color changes. So if we stitched it right now, it would stitch the registration mark, we'd put the fleece panels down, it would stitch the orange of the nose, then it would stitch the little darker highlight of the nose, the black eyes and mouth, the pink tongue, and then the pink hi highlight on the tongue, and go to the next face and repeat the same thing. That means we're going to be changing our thread quite a bit. So what we want to be able to do is first stitch all of the registration marks so we know where to put our fleece, put our fleece down, then have all of the noses stitch the next step, have all of the highlights on the noses stitch, have the black eyes and mouth stitch, the pink tongue, and then the pink highlight on the tongue. So to do that very easily, I'm going to go over here to this button. And it's the Optimize Sewing Order button. When I click on it, you can see it's combining all of the colors together. So right now, we're going to start out stitching the registration mark. And then it's going to go to, here's all the registration marks being stitched. After they're stitched, the next thing will then be all of the orange noses. I'll speed it up here a little bit. Did, it's doing all the noses now. Then it's going to do the highlights, then the black, then the pink, and then the darker pink. 
And that's exactly what we want. So then this file would be ready to save and to go ahead and stitch. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of this because I want to show you something that's important on some of the faces. For example, this face, when you look at it, you can see that it's going to stitch the orange nose, the dark orange highlight on the nose, this big black part of the mouth, the white teeth, the pink tongue, then it's going to go back to the color black to stitch this little area, the eyes and the area above the mouth. So if we were to create a whole file like we did with the other face, of course, we would bring in the registration mark first, bring in the face, and we would select it all, move it up to the left-hand corner, do a copy-paste. The problem when we go to the color sort button, the sewing order button, is that it will combine this black color and this black color. And that's going to create the design. It'll stitch out of order. So how we correct that? Since we have a color in the file that repeats itself, and that's the black, nothing, no other color you can see repeats itself, I can choose either of the files of the black and change the color. So I'm just going to choose this last one, click Change Color. And I can make it be any color I want that is not already in the file. And we don't have red in the file, so I'll go ahead and make it red. Of course, we will use black thread to stitch it, but that's how you would change the file so that it does not get out of this correct stitching order. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that it's helped you. And thanks for watching.